Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Mechanical Mastery. This time around, we will take a look at uh, getting started into the Create Universe, get the first bit of power up, up and running, and craft this small contraption that I have right behind me. So let's get going. This time around, we want to look a bit about the Create stuff, right? So first step there would be to get some Andesite. Andesite is fairly simple and forward to get. Brittle Coverstone with high co high cover lace cover lens dust, something like that. So if we let me get a stack of it. So that's the easy bit of it. The secondary bit of this here is to get a bit of uh, iron together with it to get the andesite alloy. And there we have it. We have the first bits of it, at least. Um, get a bit more we might as well use I don't think the andesite has any other useful uses for us no no not really or at least that's my assumption so let's get a 32 complete let's drop off one thing in between episodes here I did uh, let the game run a little bit so that it generates a ton well 1.8 million uh, EMC um, while well, there, I did also build up like two extra platforms. So we have a bit of extra room here to expand on. And then I started considering how do I actually want to get everything going here? And I kind of came to the conclusion, power generation, I want to hide below the surface because I don't want my uh, builds to be intermingled with the power generation. So I decided to move that down below. Um, I did also set up some automatic smelting here of, uh, well, burning, I guess it's more like, of charcoal as a way to generate a bit of uh, fuel for my um, hungry, hungry machine over here. It, it runs really well. Um, it's almost backlogged with everything now. It, it has taken ages. Like, it, it, it took at least a night for getting there. Um, I did also craft the underside here, uh, where I have set up a preparation for what we're building up today. So uh, small housings there for uh, some power generation. Um, gonna be cool. I am fairly certain about that. Um, I did do one thing that I'm not super happy about is that the lower part here is only one thick, which means that I might want to go retouch it at some point and make it thicker. But yeah. For now that works. I did also notice in my quest lock that I did actually have this one here, the soul sand, that I could toss into my EMC network as well, which um, that that can be very very useful. I do know that there is the washing ability of it um, that will allow us to do some some cool things. Additionally, we can use this for let me say if I take the uh, uses of the fan here, if we create the uh, what is this called? Soul Fire, I think it is. It does allow us to convert some other items uh, around. Um, I'm especially a, an interesting way of actually getting an egg. I think there was something else as well. Yeah, Nether Break is also uh, easy enough for getting this way here. I don't know if there's anything else that's like super interesting. Um, well, it does allow us to con change if we put out. So if, if we do double crushing wheel from cobblestone to uh, gravel to sand and then toss it through here, we actually get an increase from 1 EMC to 2 EMC, for, uh, 12 EMC. So that might be a valid way of creating something. But yeah, not certain. Otherwise, there is uh, a few minor things that might be interesting to set up. But yeah, primarily here is also the lava burning capabilities of it, and then potentially now that we actually have access to the, the create stuff, let's, uh, yes, this one here can be learned. We need to have a bit of that. Let's uh, get some of that burning. There we go. So an entire stack of that, that's got to be useful for some of the other things here. Um, the first thing I wanted to do However, is to actually get the encased fan because that is the one of the things that I really, really, really want. So I do 
need the iron plates. I do need four of them. I'm gonna need a new uh, hammer soon. It, it, it's etching slowly, slowly closer. Uh, I haven't automated that one yet, but this one here. Um, and the side. So I know there's a, 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 a fancy trick to doing it really fast, uh, but I don't know it. Mm, how many do I want? I think so. 16 might be a good number. Can I? Wondering if you could mass. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Debug uh, three, but apparently not. We didn't take our andesite alloy, and you just go for it. I think there is a way of having. Oh, I didn't get the. Didn't get the. No, you did not. You did not get the hammer for, or not the hammer. The uh, the tool from it. Oh well. Yeah, 16 underside uh, casings. That should take us quite a bit there. A bit of the road there. So, Well, actually, the encased here it has no big value. Um, create power generators. I, I could, of course, do this one here, but I actually think I want to go for the uh, the, the water wheel instead first uh, regarding power. So if we go for the water wheel, then we have a shaft. We have an okay amount of shafts. Hmm. Is that a new recipe? I thought that you had to... What's the difference here? I don't think I've seen this one here before. But that looks beautiful. I don't think I've seen this one before. Is this new? Is, was this part of Create or is this another? Hmm. Cool. Is that part of Create? It is. How do we craft it? So you just take it. Hmm. A water wheel here, I know. This, this looks new. I was 100% certain that you had to use this one here. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So let's craft a few more shafts, actually. Like that, then we have a good amount of them for each of them. I don't know how many do I actually need. I did not, I forgot to count downstairs, so let's jump down and count quickly. So we need uh, five, seven each side, so 14 total. Yeah, easier to count downstairs. Um, so 14 there. And we just need a good bunch of wood around this. So we have 14 water wheels. And we can actually upgrade them to the bigger one. I don't know what the difference is if the bigger one here has a higher... Hmm. I'm I'm like ninety nine percent sure that somebody have changed this since last time I used it. I'm I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Hmm. So I don't have room for the big ones down there. I have not. I was not prepared for that. Okay, let's uh, try this one here then. It looks different. It looks, yeah, like it. Uh, it, it 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 looks slightly wrong. 
<laughs> compared to what I'm used to. So, first of all, we want a shaft here. Then we want water wheels. I wonder. So I don't, I don't see anything here that indicates which way that it turns. But if we do this. To. Oh yeah, we did also get the glasses, so we might as well put them this overhead, yeah, so like that. 256 stress unit at current speed. That is significant, actually. That's a significant amount. I need to create a water source downstairs, I think. I did hide one just below here, so that I could grab it whenever I need it. I might as well get one downstairs while we're there. And let's build up something like um, there we go. Now we have a significantly bigger. Have the last one at the end there as well. And then I want you to be gone. Let's try that one. Let's see if it works. It's not like it's changing the numbers actually. one is slowly turning around. Can we do the same over here? Shaft there. Uh, that one. Temporary builder. Oh, I need some water, otherwise it's going to be slightly long before I fill up my bucket, right? Hmm. I do technically already have access to soul sand. I wonder. This here is the first steps of our power generation. So this allows us to actually hook up anything we want. generation upstairs now we just need to get the get it up there i also need to add another staircase over on the other side how is it going with our dried kelp and our dried kelp can turn into some uh, nice mechanical bolts oh it's also a snack i don't know if there's a bonus for eating a few snacks That was potentially not a smart move. Oh well. Uh, so we have that coming up here. It's actually coming up. If I pulled it up, it would be coming up of the floor right here. Do I? I might want to do the gear gearboxes though. The gearbox like this. many of them but yeah I need to craft some few more I 
that's the problem with this uh, <laughs> create here. You s when, once you get started on it, you so fast get to burn through all of your uh, different items here. Um, not that underside is super expensive uh, with the um, EMC input that I have, but yeah, super cheap either. Now we have this one here. We can actually set up the first bit of small working. Where did I put it? I put it here. I was thinking of bringing it up somewhere around here and then have a case that blew down on a depot here. So, depot. Uh, that's the depot. Intersected into the wall. Yep, that should work. Then place a. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I want it to be like. Something like up here. Something like that, I guess. Then with water coming there. I think I have an idea about how I want to do this. Can I do it like that? And then with uh, I need one more. And then the water needs to be placed on top of it. Something like that. And then with an encased fan above it. I just shift click it. Yes, that exactly places it the wrong direction. So if I play, just stand here and click, then it points it downwards. But if I shift click it, it points it opposite. So I actually think I want all of them to be higher, but I'll figure that out when I get closer to it. And then maybe even have a bit of, yeah, something like that to keep some nice stuff out here. Um, let's see. In order to get the power circulation here, I am, yeah, I need to get this here <laughs> moving up down here somewhere, somehow. So the best way I can see for actually getting it from down there up here is to use belts. And I, this was not smart. Over here, and having this come out one, that one come out one. And use a belt for from here. It's a bit of roaming around, and then have the belt go. Can I jump down there? Yes, I could. I want you to actually go all the way up there. Now the big question is, do I just want to have it as it is right here in this speed, or do I want to already now try to increase the speed? I think I want to increase the speed before going up there, which would result in me. Actually, I want to do like this, and then one more time. Here we can have a vertical gearbox that sends the power directly up there as I want it. And then we'll take it from there. It, it always ends up being a bit of a uh, <laughs> move stuff around kind of situation with the create, which is one of the charms of why it's a butt, butt to play around with. don't know if I have the correct spinning direction here. Um, 
or if I need to change it, but let's see. It's pulling up, so no, I don't have it. I need to change the direction of it. The easiest way to do that right now is to... Where did my shaft go down there? Okay. Um, is to toss in a vertical gearbox. That flips around the direction, and we now have it going downwards instead of upwards. That should allow us for washing things here. Yep. So that means that we can take a bunch of soul sand, place it over here, then it should start washing it. Hopefully. Could also do this slightly different, allowing me to have multiple stations here, one for washing, one for burning, etc. This here works pretty well. Come on. It shouldn't be taking so long, though. Oh, there we go. How did that go? Decent enough. So we have the first bits of the uh, quartz. Easy peasy. Let's uh, do a bit more while we add it. I do know that this way here is not automating it, but it does allow us to uh, automate it later on uh, when we need it. So, first bits of quartz. Do need a bunch of redstone. So let's grab a, a good amount. Didn't I have a? Yes, I do. How's that configured? Nope. There we go. And yes, of course, it's not the same when it lights up. Hmm. There we go. And then we can do like that, and we have a good amount of redstone. Let's see. So if we take the redstone now, uh, redstone here, and quartz here, we get some rose quartz. Excellent. Dump all of that here. Sort and sort my inventory here as well. I need to carry you around right now. Um, next up here would be the sandpaper. There is potentially other ways of doing it. Enrichment allows us to do it, but we are not quite at mechanism yet. Um, yeah, so sandpaper is the first one that we need. Do we? Hmm. Future. I have never seen that one before. So sand is easy enough to mean, uh, to obtain, but do we have a way of obtaining paper? Sort of, sort of, sort of. Do we have any way of doing some of that? Do we have a way of obtaining sugarcane? I don't know where sugarcane comes from. I wonder if there's a way to actually get it. Based on the EMC value of it, it seems like there is. So alternative here, we have mechanism, we have thermal series, we have thermal, right. A pulverizer would allow us, a sawmill would also allow us to do it. Pulverizer is probably the better option. And we do have one right here. We do have a bit of a lock here. Let's just toss in like four of them. Should hopefully have enough to actually run this power wise. Like that. And then we have a. Is it just like three over? Yes. And then we have a bit of a. Perfect. Didn't need that much then. I have a bit of sand here. I do. So, sandpaper. There we go. Put sandpaper in the offhand. Worth caught on the other hand. And let's get busy uh, sanding down our quartz. Um, later game, if there's no other way, I don't know if there's a way here to actually um, enchant your. I know sandpaper can be enchanted, but I don't know if we have anything that allows us to be crazy enchanting things. 
but it is possible to make it uh, never break. But I don't see it available in this mod pack, though. That said, it's not that difficult to actually craft it ourselves. So this is 760. I don't think there is. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we get enough gold nuggets here that it can be worthwhile doing it the other way around. But if we can actually craft the uh, uh, soul sand from cobblestone, then it might be valuable for actually generating gold as well. Hmm. That could be a, a valid path forward for a generation machine, maybe. Perfect. What else do we need here? The crossing wheel. In order to get the crossing wheel, and that's actually where we were heading with these polished quartz here. So we want to create some electron tubes. So electron tubes uh, leads into the... I've never seen this one. Like, there is new stuff that I've never seen before. I love it because that it's one of those things that is amazing in... Uh, great is that there's almost something new. Hmm. So this is basically allows you to... Okay, so this is... Okay, interesting. Interesting. There's a few things here that allows you to uh, play around with some new stuff in it. Um, yeah, but we need to get, grab this one here. Uh, let me actually get back to what I was trying to get to. We need to use it for the, where is it? Crafting, mechanical crafters. Um, yes. Which also needs the brass ingots. We need an induction furnace. Let's craft the uh, induction furnace quickly if we can. Probably need a few of them though, but uh, for now we just need a single one. I do need a bit more sand, so gravel go here. I need a power source for this as well at some point, but yeah. Um, in my gears, we need two of them. And we need one redstone coil, and we need the blast furnace. Oh, right. Stone. Did I, did I craft some stone at some point? Yes, I did. But I never crafted uh, the next tier of them. Something like that should get going with crafting it. Um, didn't I have some belts here? Yep. There we go. If you have a uh, spare uh, dried kelp, you can always eat them. Going with the, we are backstuffing and stuff, which is excellent. That means that it is running as it should be. There was also one thing here I wanted to look at now that I remember it again. So I did take a few of these here and toss over here because I did notice that we have what's called the hardened the case that we can build. Need a bit of glass, however, so excellent that I'm actually doing a bit of it here. Um, like that. Two more. I think I might gonna get at least. Yeah, there we go. So go in there, go on like that, and then that will be ready in a moment. There we go. We have everything we need to craft a blast furnace, I think, except for a furnace. <laughs> of course, I have everything except for the one thing that is the key element in it. Typical Minecraft. Typical Minecraft. Let's see. Here we go. Last furnace, induction smelter. Let's toss it over here so that it can get a bit of power. So that now we can use it. That means that we can actually get brass. Brass, let's see. So we need the brass casing here, which requires brass ingots. Uh, which can be induction smelted from copper and zinc. Didn't I craft a bit of... Yeah, I do have a bit of zinc here, and 
I do have a bit of cover here. Don't know what I did there, but apparently I completed something. <laughs> I had not seen that there was a quest for that. I, I've had that for... Okay. Random quest rewards at random times. Okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm just surprised. Yep. Craft you up there. Let's jump over and see if our glass was complete. It is almost complete at least. So we can actually craft uh, at least one of them. Um, gonna install you here just to see. So yes, it swallows a ton of power now. Um, maybe it actually makes sense to upgrade my power network as well with them. How many can I craft? Can I take three of you? Yep, come with me with one. Then one, two, three. That means that we now have a max production of 80 RF per tick versus 40 RF per tick. I don't know if that means that it also burns through coal faster, but I suspect it. So was that the first... Uh First gold. All oh, right, I got gold and not gold ore, so I can't turn that in. Yeah, different versions <laughs> does different things. So now we have a bit of brass. Is there not really a quest for that? Apparently not. Um, I do need a few cases as well for that, so let me place down a few cases. At least I think this is the way that you do it, if I remember correctly. Oh yes, and we have reached the brass age. Oh, no pickaxe time. Also need to clean up my inventory at some point. Let's just quickly dump you here. Dump the other items that we don't strictly need. I have a lot of building materials right now. I guess that uh, comes from uh, Create, where you always keep uh, filling up your inventory with all manners of small stuff that you need, but all manners of stuff, either way. So there we go with the first bits of that. And a bit more here. I think we have an okay supply of quartz for now. Let's take a look at what we need to do next. We needed the this crossing wheels that we're actually working towards. Um, and the crossing wheels. That should be fairly easy to now I think I have everything I need with one exception though I might need another nope I have exactly what I needed from that one but if I take you here and you there we have eight electro electron tubes and then we can craft the mechanical elements here once we have oh, I need a few more okay how many do I need? Let me just count here. Three, 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 three. So seven. Right? Yes, you get three per craft, so I need seven of them. So that should be the perfect amount number here. 21 mechanical crafters. I want the this one here. I think I want to place it over here. And I want a depot as well for output. Depot. Center one being the output here. Build it up something like that, maybe. And build, build, build. And then start building on top of this. I can't remember, I need to go one higher, right? Yes, I do. So 
that's the top of it. If I go to the side here, uh, we need to place one of each of those places and similar over here. Like that, that, and that. Perfect. There we go. Now we just need to hook it up to some power from down below. So let me do that and be right back. And there we are. Now it's hooked up. We have it spinning as it should be. It's even sped up slightly so that I have double uh, geared up, which is pretty nice. But up next here is... Um, I, I did do a little trick here that I learned from uh, another great YouTuber, that you can actually connect these uh, inventory here. So you can say, okay, this should be connected or should not be connected. This should be connected or should not be connected. Once it's connected, it has the ability of... Um, When it's connected, you have the ability to do something really cool. So usually when you play something, you only place one. And that goes for all the places here. But once it's connected, if you place one, it actually places one in each of them. And now you can actually see that it's slowly creating my uh, crushing wheel. That's the item that I really want to get going today. Like, come on, come on, come on. Yep, there we go. Crushing wheel. This is going to be fundamental for some of the stuff that we're going to do. Uh, at least here early on, it allows us to, uh, first of all, get a bit more out of some of the resources. Uh, and secondly, it allows us to, uh, where is it? I don't even know which one of them it is, but there, there's some of them that uh, significantly is going to boost for it. And especially the um, cinder flower, which allows us to get uh, redstone quite easily. So, I don't even have it set up yet, but the idea was that I wanted the crossing wheels in here. Um, yeah, I want crossing wheels in here. But yeah, I think that's going to be next time. Now we have them and we're ready for actually building it up. So uh, thank you very much for sticking around with me this time around. If you like what I was building, then toss me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, subscribe. And... Uh, Fun out there and see you around.